In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the easiest questions from the IIT JE exam, but one that was barely solved by anyone. In fact, only about 2% of people who took the exam were able to correctly respond to these questions. And so let's take a look at them. This is from the 2021 paper one exam, and it gives us a set with a uh, set S with the numbers one through hundred and three numbers are chosen at random one after another, and there's replacement involved. Now they're saying P1 is a probability that the maximum of the chosen numbers is at least 81 and P2 is a probability that the minimum is at most 40. So whenever you see at least, right, like at least or at most, uh, then that normally implies that there's going to be some complementary probability, uh, some complementary counter involved. And that is the case here. So to find P1, instead of finding the maximum has to be at least 81, we can say it's going to be anything where the maximum is not less than 81. So it'll be one minus, this means everything, minus uh, the probability that the maximum is less than 81, right? So that should hopefully clear things up. And now to find the maximum, uh, to have it less than 81, it has to be from one to 80, right? That's 80 possibilities out of 100, which is four fifths. So we need each of the numbers to be four fifths. There's replacement involved. So it'll be four fifths times four fifths times four fifths again, and it's one minus this. So this becomes one minus 64 over 125, which is uh, 61 over 125, right? Now this, we can't put that in yet because asking for, I'll do it on top over here, 625 over four times P1. So that's times 61 over 125. This cancels with this to give us five and five times 61. Well, that's just going to be uh, 305, I believe, divided by four. So that's our answer. So it's going to be 305 over four. Now let's take a look at the second one. Pause the video if you want and try this one yourself. It's a very similar process. Okay, and we're going to do it now. So P2 will be one minus the probability. The minimum will be greater than 40, which means that each number, every single number has to be greater than 40. So it'll be from 41 to 100, that's 60 numbers. So 60 out of 100, which is three fifths. Okay, so if it's three fifths, same process again, I'll do it all the way on the left here now. So P2 is equal to one minus three fifths cubed, since each of the three numbers has to be um, in that range. This becomes one minus 27 over 125, which is 98 over 125. Multiplying it by 125 over four, these cancel out giving us 98 over four, which is just 49 over two. And so that's our answer for this, 49 over two. And there you have it. We've solved both of these questions in like two minutes which means that we've gotten four points on the exam. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Bye. See you in the next video.